afternoon, officer. <sighs> nice flats. It will be when they're finished. You got a minute? Of course. Wondered if there was anything you'd like to add to what we talked about yesterday. Well, we told you everything I know. You sure about that? You're not. He said Kieran hasn't been in touch. That's right. Only we heard there'd been a letter. I'm a solicitor. Do you really think I'll be stupid enough to withhold evidence? <sighs> well, I'd like to think not, Mr. Katetja. Keep in touch. Oh, Flem, please. They're here that often. I'm surprised they haven't set up a little office. Somewhere hang their hats, have a cup of tea. <laughs> we see enough of them as it is, and it's never good news. Give us them, Chas. Look, the lunchtime rush is over. Why don't you put your feet up for five minutes? I've finished my chemo, Doug. I'm not an invalid. Just don't overdo it, all right? Oh, you'll have me to answer to. Yeah, fat chance with you lot on me back. Thanks for saving me yesterday. Yeah, well, someone had to. Last thing Aaron needs is you getting arrested. I know. I got it. That wooden scum. He's not worth it. Let the police deal with him. As long as you've got Aaron's back. Yeah, you just lay off the vigilante stuff and stay away from Gordon. I'm on it. It's going to take a bit of time, but I'm going to get this sorted. Talk about the fastest handyman in the north. Only rang you half an hour ago. You sounded desperate. Yeah, you could say that. And I could never resist an SOS from a damsel in distress. So, where's the water? About that. You said you're up to the top of your wellies. Well, I know you can't resist a mature woman in a pair of rubber boots. <laughs> you got a problem or what? What Kerry can't bring herself to tell you is that she's broken the toilet. Don't ask. It was an accident. It's upstairs, first on the right. I'm going in, ladies. And maybe some time. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't so much twinkle as he does smoulder. Mm. If it wasn't for Dan. Control yourself, Kerry. Oh, you'd have to. You don't, though. I'm a married woman. Yeah, with benefits. He's straight, single, and you've got a free pass for an eight of passion with anyone that you fancy. Hi. Afternoon, Chrissy. <laughs> Kerry will be with you in a minute. She's not in the book. She texted. Broken acrylic emergency. I don't have time to get to one of my salons. Which is why I offered your services as my consummate beauty professional. You're gonna have to show me your stock cock, love. No polite answer to that. Kerry, you know where it is. As long as you show me yours. <laughs> tea or coffee, Tony? Uh, tea. Builder's milk and two sugars. And I like two eggs with me bacon on the morning, just so you know. Can I get anything, Christy? While you wait? DS Wise would like a word. It's not Aaron. But an incident. Vandalism at your ex-husband's home. Gordon? No. Is he all right? Yeah, he is, but his car's seen better days. Who the heck would want to vandalise him? Well, if you could just give us a minute, huh? I hope you catch him. And you think I give a stuff because... We have a witness. Description fits you to a T. Spray paint. Hmm? Oh, what on earth are you playing at, Chaz? If I'm going to be a bridesmaid, I want that one. How much? I'd wear it loads after the wedding. For what? School discos and going down the pub with me and your dad. Please, it's not that expensive. Some people have prom dresses which cost more than that. Oh, darling, it's not going to be that kind of wedding. It's not about showing off, it's about showing how much we love each other. Anyway, I'm not even going to spend that much on my own outfit. If you can't afford it, Lawrence can. Hey, don't even think about it. Your dad would be very upset if he knew that Lawrence was buying your dress, so put that back and stop trying to blackmail me, for goodness sake. Oh, I've forgotten sausages. Oh, oh I'll get them for you. JK, bring Laurel stuff in for me, will you? Do I have to? Yes. And stop messing with your hair. We're working with food. 3.20 for the sausages. Hello, Jacob. <laughs> how's school? Great. And how's your mum doing in uh, Portugal? <laughs> Great. Don't you say anything else? Yeah. Do you, uh, do you want to start with this? <laughs> Why are you going red? 
I don't know how much they are. Hold on. What's up with him? Hormones. I think you've got an admirer. I was here behind the bar all day. You also told the witness that Gordon abuses children. He did. Allegedly. Until he's proven guilty in a court, he is innocent in the eyes of the law. He's not, though, is he? Look, uh, I understand the pressure that you're under, but do you really think this is going to help Aaron's case? I thought maybe it wasn't one of my best ideas, but I had to do something because he's out there living his life as if nothing has happened. You have to let us do our job and let the jury do theirs. Right, so what happens now? You're going to cuff me, chuck me in a cell? Yeah. You're going to come down to the station, I'm going to give you a warning. As long as you stay away from your ex-husband, that's it. Right. I'm not saying sorry. Thanks. I trusted you. You've lost me. I tell you, Kieran's written to me, and the first thing you do is run to the police. Single parent, sole breadwinner. Don't you think I've got better things to do now? It's obvious. He's run out on you, so you're taking it out on me. You don't have to take this, does she, Paddy? So go and accuse someone else. Revenge, was it? Making sure my son's life is as useless as your own. At least he's still got one. Unlike that poor cow he ran over. My son has done nothing wrong. Yes, no. It's ironic, isn't it? All your effort to make him dump me and Johnny, and then he goes and does it himself. They say, be careful what you wish for. You think I wanted any of this? Cash, not here, not now. You OK? I will be. What in heaven's name's going on? Brenda, you couldn't get Nessa coffee, could you? Yeah, I've only told her. As if I called the police. He's the father of my son. Emergency car, I'm going to have to go. Paddy? It was you, wasn't it? No. I asked you. I begged you to leave this alone, but you still went behind my back. You called the police, didn't you? Someone died. Not just someone, Paddy. The woman you were sleeping with behind my back. So that's all right, then, is it? A life doesn't matter. A death just doesn't matter. Not to me. Listen to yourself, Rowan. She slept with a married man. She betrayed her husband and me and Leo, and I am glad she's dead. I'm glad that Kieran killed her, because if he hadn't, then... You don't mean that. As if the poor bloke hadn't suffered enough. The last thing you need when you're recovering from cancer is more stress. So why don't you stop stressing yourself out about someone you hardly know? Maybe you'd be better off here for a day or two. I thought him and Ches were on a break. I mean, I know Aaron and him hardly see eye to eye, but... Oh, there's nothing worse than feeling unsafe in your own home. Poor Gordon. Mm. <sighs> nothing poor about him. There's been some sort of incident. Vandals. Could have happened to a nicer bloke. Fine, please, Dan. Chaz in the back. She rushed off to the police station the minute she heard. Typical. Anyone needs help, she's right there. But what's she doing with the police if he's the victim? It might have something to do with this. It's all over Twitter. What does that say? I can't make it out. Pedlo. Pedo. Why would anyone call him that? Next time, flush. Don't yank. Or you may as well put me on speed dial. How are you there, pet? Hey, fancy a quick intimate wax on the house? I'll pass, thanks. I'll drop an invoice round tomorrow. Oh, don't go to any trouble. Take you for a drink up the road. Well, I'm very flattered, but I'm married to my father. No offence, love, but how old is he? Very happily married. But thanks for asking. I'll come if she can't. In case you change your mind. Oh, I won't. If I'd been single, he'd be upstairs on that table with his kit off by now. There was only one woman he was interested in, and that's the only one wearing a wedding ring. I can go keep the change. Oh, thank you. It's not even as if I gave him an ounce of encouragement. Yeah, well, I wouldn't use him again. You don't want anyone getting the wrong idea. Oh, there were no charge, not for family. Oh, yeah, of course. See you later. Don't tell me you weren't tempted. What, not even a little bit? Not even close. Mm.
As if Chaz would be down the police station helping out some child abuser, eh? Some would say there's no smoke without fire. Yeah, and some of us Fleming well wouldn't. I don't believe a word of it. I don't care what accusations are being thrown at him. Aaron's father is not a paedophile. And who says he is? There's been a bit of trouble for your dad and your mum's at the police station doing what she can to help, so... Nothing for you to worry about. You must need a break. You've not been to the toilet all afternoon. You said you had stuff to do. I'll be all right for a bit longer. Right, OK, then. Well, uh, I'll be through in the house. If you get desperate, just yell. Love your hair. <laughs> Thanks. It's 4 95 please. I don't have any money. And I need to show Lawrence a dress. Well, why don't you ask him for the cash? He's loaded. Oh, he gets jealous when we talk about Dad. And it's going to be the last time we do anything as a family before Dad gets sick and, and dies. I'm really sorry. I just... I want everything to be perfect for his special day. And Laurel won't buy me the dress, so I need to ask Lawrence for the money tonight. Stick in your bag. Quick. You're dead special, JK. Kieran goes missing. Your car gets found abandoned at the docks. I mean, of course people are going to talk. Everyone's gossiping, speculating. They can't prove anything, can they? Only a handful of people know the truth, and one of them's God knows where. Every time I open my mouth, I make things worse. I can't sleep at night for worrying about him. He could be anywhere. His decision. You either accept that or do something to bring him home. And then what? Shop him to the police? That's the deal, Rakesh. We agreed. There's no going back. Well, there isn't for me either. I got a call this morning from one of the partners. They've taken a dim view of Kieran's latest escapade. From now on, I'm on unpaid leave. Indefinitely. She sprayed his car? Are you kidding me? Yesterday, yeah. Things got out of hand. That must be why she's at the station now. She's really stressed out. Oh, what, and I'm not? What's she on? It's no wonder they couldn't look me in the eye. Aaron, you're back. What are you playing at? I'm so sorry. Look, nobody knows anything. Not yet. Oh, come on, even that lot in there can put two and two together thanks to Banksy over here. We agreed to leave it to the police. And I will do from now on. You just can't stop yourself, can you? I have been going off my head here. If Robert hadn't have talked me down, I'd have probably done a lot worse than chucking a bit of paint around. Oh, well, that, that's all right then, isn't it? Aaron, um, come on, she was in a real state. Yeah, and now so am I. Because thanks to her, everyone in that bar's going to be working out what Gordon did to me. Lucky for you, half of them think he's innocent. Which is why you're going to go back through there and tell them that's exactly what he is. I can't do that. Do it. Or I walk. And I don't come back. Has Leo had his tea? He's at Marlon's. I didn't want him here. He could tell I was upset. I had to go to the police, you know. There was no other option. Liar. Yeah, maybe I am. Or maybe I was. But what I'm not is someone who thinks it's all right for someone to kill someone else. Whether it was a mistake or not, I can't do it. And I won't do it. Because you loved her. And you still do. Because she was a human being. And he took her life away. And I'm the only one that can do something about it. And we all know why, don't we? Rona. I feel sick and, and I hate myself for what I've done to you. I've turned you from being this good, moral, loving and lovely woman into this bitter, angry person who's glad someone's dead. I have to go. 
moment. I love you. I want you. And I want us to work through this. And I want us to stay together. But we really don't stand a chance. If you don't talk to me. I can't. Please. Please, try. I can't. Because if I do, if the words start coming out, they won't stop. And if they don't, then we're over. No, we can't carry on like this. Not anymore. Kerry said you're an absolute pleasure to work on. Really? And you were happy with her work? Well, I still appear to have all my fingers, so... Um, I've been meaning to ask you, I wonder if Kerry could do a day in one of your salons, work experience, so that she can hone her skills on a more upmarket client base? Yeah, can, can I think about it? Oh, that'd be Gabby. My phone's in my bag. You wouldn't just, uh... Hi, Gabby. Hi, it's me. Yeah, I'll just pass you on to your mum now. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Thanks. Hi, darling. Yes, you can stay, but don't be difficult. All right, I'll pick you up later, then. Bye. I'd not have that glass of wine then if I'm driving. By the way, the um the shower in my own suite's not working properly. You know the plumber that was in the salon earlier? You don't have his number, do you? Ah, oh, sorry, I threw his card away. I mean, with a father like that, it's bound to leave scars. Have you been watching daytime TV again? I'm a health professional. I've seen cases like this before. So go and make up fairy tales about someone else then. Gordon's such a nice man. Thoughtful. Caring. Decent. He's well turned out. What do you expect? Horns in a tail. Mm, abusers often are. They have empathy with their victims. Gordon's no abuser. And whoever thinks he is, then they're wrong. He's done nothing. Of course he hasn't. It's shocking what people think they can get away with these days. Lives, careers, down the pan because of some half-baked accusation. And they don't come more half-baked than that. Got it? If anyone's a victim, it's that poor man. Chas, the next time you see him, tell him he's got our full support. Anything we can do to help. Yeah, well, it's all lies, right? Yeah. Squeaky clean as our Gordon. Perfect husband. Perfect dad. Whoever it was that turned my son into the messed up vulnerable, damaged human being that he is today, then it definitely wasn't him. No. He didn't abuse him. He never hurt him. He never took his anger out on him. He never made my own son feel so bad about himself that he had to lie to me so that I had no idea what was going on until it was too late. He never made me want to die. Because the boy I love more than my own life couldn't even turn to his own mum for help. Yeah, because if he did, the whole world would need to know what kind of a sick pervert he is, wouldn't they? Hmm? It's my fault I should never have gone to my own firm for advice. You've done nothing wrong. But I can't just get rid of you like this. Meet your solicitor. He's implicated in the disappearance of his son, who was also busted for drugs and is now on the run for killing a woman. Who wouldn't want me on their legal team? You are innocent. I'm as guilty as he is. And my colleagues know it. Yeah, but they can't prove that, though, can they? They don't have to. Reputation is everything in this business. When the dust settles... Unlikely. I've lost my son and my job. I mean, we're hurtling towards a wedding at full speed. And I've got a massive mortgage on two flats which aren't even finished. Hey. But you still have me. My life is falling apart. And you know why? Because I meddled with theirs. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's my fault Kieran got in that car. My fault his life is turned upside down. I ruined their lives. Now it's my turn to suffer. 
Now they all know he's got no excuse. He can't come here, Aaron. You're safe. I'm not safe from you and your big gob, though, am I? One thing, one thing I ask you to do. There has been enough secrets and lies. I felt sick just saying the words. Oh, yeah, because it's all about you, innit, every time. He is a monster, Aaron, and you are protecting him. He's going to court because of me. Well, then it's all going to come out anyway, isn't it? No matter how hard we try and stop it. What difference will a few weeks make? You just don't get it, do you? I get how much he hurt you. And I want to hurt him more. And yet you're the one that ends up hurting me. I thought I could trust you. That's not fair, Harry. You know what he did to me? I can barely even admit it to myself, yet you're all right to go and blow it to a load of strangers. I thought you were better than that. I thought, I actually thought that you got it, but you don't, do you? Just stay away from me. No complaints too small for this lot. The new series of The Inspectors are coming is next. And then physics can be a risky business. It's not rocket science. It's at eight. And a black belt shop owner takes on an armed robber in Heroes and Villains caught on camera. That's here at nine.